Welcome to Christ Open Door Community Church. We are located at 5265 Alhambra Drive, Suite C in Orlando, Florida, 32808. Every Sunday, we have Christian education at 10.15 a.m. and worship service at 11.15 a.m. We'd love to have you. Now for today's message. So if you see somebody get saved and they're still hanging around after a year, amen, God did something, amen, a, amen, a blessing in your eyes, amen, and, and watch out, amen, God is still giving forth the Holy Ghost. Jesus. If you hang around long enough, God will give you the Holy Ghost. And when He gives you the Holy Ghost, you ain't got to worry about Him leaving the church. Amen. Come on. I'm not talking about the building, but I'm talking about leaving God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we're believing and we're praying. And Bishop, my, 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 my prayers have been for the last year or so. And how do we get across to the young people who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Ghost is? Yes, because, Amen. We know we come in. A, we came up in a. We came up in a time where they called a terrorist. Yes. Amen. They called on the name of Jesus. Yes. And that's how we understood how to get saved, amen. Yeah. Is amen, getting up at the altar and the mother saying, call on him. And we called on him, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. And the mother sometimes tell you, you ain't got it yet, son. Keep calling. <laughs> you right. ain't got it, daughter. And we just kept calling to, amen, yeah. something really happened where we got saved, amen. Yeah. Most of us, amen, yeah. that are 45, 50 and over, amen. We, got, we came up in that era where they was calling on Jesus, amen, to be saved. Now, the era before us, amen, it was baptism, amen. Come on, somebody, amen. It was baptism. They, they, they only uh, they understood that if you get baptized, that was considered becoming a child of God. And so they would uh, take, uh, I don't know, everybody's not from Orlando, but if you're from Orlando, you know where the, the main place where they baptized, and that was made out of doom. Amen, somebody. And they would, amen, the preachers or the pastors would come out there and they would baptize people at Long of Doom, amen. And, and that's what we uh, heard of, of the way of being saved. And so after uh, that, then Jesus came and now it came upon a, a, a time in the dispensation where they said, well, you had to speak in tongues. Yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. Right. In other words, to be saved, amen, right. to be filled with the Holy Spirit, right. that if you didn't speak in tongues, That's right. then That's you right. didn't, amen, have it, amen. Yeah. Right. And, 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 so, and so people was uh, going after tongues, amen. Hallelujah. But now, what time are we living in to teach yeah. people yeah. what it means to be saved? What, what, what does it take to be saved? What does it take to be a child of God? What does it take to be filled with the Holy Ghost, amen? There's so many questions, amen, that people, young people especially, are asking about, amen, what does it take for me not to just be saved, but to make it to heaven, amen, to, to make it into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of, 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 of heaven, amen. And so we're trying to explain it, amen, and, and some of us are right on point and some of us are off because some people are teaching, amen, to, uh, uh, if you can just confess with your mind, and believe in your heart that God has risen Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Not understanding that is a story. Come on, somebody. Not a story that has been made up, but that is the story of the Word of God. And so you can't just believe in the story, but you got to believe in the one that is uh, in the story. Come on, somebody. And you got to believe it. Come on, somebody. You can't just confess it with your mouth, but you got to really believe it. Somebody say, in your heart. Well, how do I believe it in my heart? How do I know that I believe it in my heart? It's because I'm not just going to have an amen lip service, amen, but there's going to be some power and some action behind uh, what they have in my mind, have, amen, to, amen, have, have understood about what this name or who this is that I'm calling on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
understood it, or my mouth have confessed it, or my mind have understood it, and my heart have received it, yes. then, amen, I, I believe that I'm saved. But are you really saved? Because uh, there's a difference between being saved and being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus said, amen. Come on, somebody. Jesus said that you must be what? Born again. Now, he tells us in a two-fold message that you can't just be born by the Spirit. Come on, somebody. But you got to be born by, by the water. Come on, somebody. In other words, you got to be baptized in the fire. Come on, somebody. Amen. And the fire is what? The Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. John makes it plain and clear. He said that, that, that I'm going to baptize you with water, but there's one that's coming out of me. Off sea. Yeah. Can the church say, man, it burns off sea. Yeah, and see, when I, I when I got saved, come on, somebody, everybody, if you don't remember when you got saved, I, I, I kind of doubt whether you got saved because this is the, this is the time that you will never forget. Just like you never forgot when you graduated. Come on, somebody. Just like you never forgot when you got married. Come on, somebody. Just like you never forgot when you first had. Oh, I got that shit right there. Revival, amen. Come on, somebody say amen. How do I know I got it? I got, I got it, but I didn't know what I had. But how do I know I got something? How do I know I got something? Because when I got home, amen, after that night of revival, come on, somebody, we in revival. After I got home and I went to school, I went to school and even the teacher noticed there's something about you. There's something about you. Amen. He, 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 man, he ain't acting out of character. He just erupted the class. And I was sincere about what I was. Amen. Until when the teacher saw that for a week of me behaving right, she said, Kid, I don't know what that happened, I, but I want you to leave the class and to lunch room. That was a big thing. Amen. Amen. And to the amen, and, and, and to it was amazement to every class. Come on, somebody! Every teacher when they saw me come in the lunch room first, they said, "I know that that's not little kid." Come on, somebody! I know that's not little kid. But see, when I was young, my my uncle gave me a name, and he wanted to name me Crazy Baby. Because they say every time they took me in a store, Kmart or uh, 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 Jam Field and uh, Montgomery Ward, amen, say I would tear down the clothes and run, amen, up the aisles and act a fool. And he said, well, uh, he told my mother, well, I don't know where you get this one from. This is crazy, baby. He wanted to give me that name. Now, it's one thing. Come on, somebody. Come on, follow me. If you enjoyed today's message, please leave a like. And if you'd like to hear more, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's message and thank you for supporting the ministry.